vaginal rejuvenation. I'm just coming right out and saying it right off the bat so that you don't have to be embarrassed or you don't have to be shy because this is a medical procedure and we are lucky enough to have a doctor who is an expert in this area that can answer all of your questions about vaginal rejuvenation. This is Dr. Sakeb Ahmad. Hi. Hi. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. What is this kind of surgery? So it's basically a vaginal, vaginal laser surgery and it's can be explained as the most private makeover for any lady, um, any of the ladies in in, in our community. And uh, what essentially what it means is, we went back and talked to all the ladies what essentially they wanted, and they want to wanted us as a physicians to listen to them and understand their needs. We they wanted to regain the functionality of the vaginal tone and tightness after they had. Uh, gone through the uh, births of uh, vaginal births for their babies and to have aesthetically pleasing vulvar structures. So for that, we came up with this idea of the laser vaginal rejuvenation, which is essentially a surgery which help you with few uh, multiple things on, uh, on your vulva and internal and external uh, genital structures. So we hear a lot about, and you know, you'll see it on TV shows, people doing Kegel exercises. Is this, I mean, basically this procedure is going to tighten you up. Yeah, so uh, there are essentially uh, what we're doing is a part, there are two uh, different parts. One is uh, comes under the heading of la laser vaginal rejuvenation, and the other one comes under designer laser vaginoplasty. Now, when we talk about LVR, which is a laser vaginal rejuvenation, we are talking indeed about the tightening the muscles uh, in five different directions. So because if you use this model, we have the upper vagina here, we have a lower vagina, the side walls, and then the outside, the perineal muscles. So essentially what it comes down to, to understand that the female uh, sexual gratification is uh, directly related to the frictional forces generated. So for that, the LVR not only does that, but also bring the youthfulness of the vulva uh, back. What, how we do that, after tightening these muscles, we make this intritus look more like a slit uh, from the gapping intritus, which essentially can happen after the, uh, the delivery. We also build the labia majora and menorah back to meet in the midline, build the perineal body down here. And by doing that, we bring out the youthfulness function and uh, the pleasing uh, aesthetically aspect of the external genitalia. Now, if you want to have this procedure done, um, there's only a few people even in the entire state that are really as qualified. Right, right. Uh, wh what it is, is oh, it has a background story to it. Uh, relate, it all came from uh, Dr. David Matlock, in, uh, who is uh, practicing currently in uh, Beverly Hills, California. And I think a lot of people know him under Dr. 90210. And uh, he essentially in, uh, invented this technique, and this technique helped thousands of women since he has uh, started using this in, and he started this in 1996 and then he established this institute which uh, uh, he named as the LVR Institute of America and that uh, institute has uh, approximately I would say around three to four hundred physicians have been trained from that institute almost around 39, 40 countries all over the world. So he's well known for this procedure and the techniques he used. In Genesee County, or uh, I'd be the only one at this point who has trained under that uh, institute with him, along with th two or three more physicians all over the Michigan, so. So I have, do have some questions. Sure. Um, Semi is asking, how long does vaginal rejuvenation last? Is it something you have to keep doing every few years, or is it a one-time thing? No, it's it's actually it's interesting because LVR uh, is also being used by different um, uh, vaginal rejuvenation laser machines, the same name, so people get confused. This procedure is a surgery, and it's a one-time thing, and it will maintain that structure is the way we leave them until as long as you decide not to have another baby or some other damage or trauma. 
compared to the machines uh, which laser machines are used in office, which is a, is a temporarily thing, they usually last more, no more than a year on that effect. So. so you really want to do the surgery because it lasts longer. Right. So for the, sorry, for the right patient, the surgery may be the better benefit because now you uh, not only gaining few things out of it, one is a more of a permanent approach. Second, if, if, if it's the right patient, which is in, in, in the age, certain age group, we can also perform the second part of the procedure if they uh, desire so, which is, uh, comes under the designer laser vaginoplasty, which is called the DLV. And it encompasses fixing the labia if they want their, uh, essentially a labioplasty comes into it. They, if they want to build the hymen area back to more of a youthful uh, appearance. Plus we can uh, bring the clitoris uh, hood down a little bit. So bottom line is it will bring the function and uh, the appearance of back, to the, uh, back to the youth. It's kind of like a facelift, but not your face. Right, that's true. Um, and so this can also help with incontinence? Yes. So again, uh, that's one of the main uh, questions we ask before going for the procedure, uh, especially for the LVR. Uh, and at that time, we can, uh, based on Dr. Matlock's special technique, we can uh, do this to help with the stress incontinence. So that's to be important to understand. The stress incontinence is the urine leakage when you cough, sneeze, jump on trampoline and stuff. So that we can fix that. And that's something will uh, stay with you for a very long time. I mean, that seems like, um, you know, an important medical procedure to not, to have, you know, get rid of incontinence, but this isn't covered by insurance. Right, because again, we doing this procedure, obviously, for obviously, for cosmetic reasons, like just like any uh, other cosmetic procedure, for example, breast augmentation and or liposuction. So that's one of the reasons not get covered, but if patient has a complaint and we are there and with this technique of Dr. Matlock, we can fix both areas at the same time. Stephanie's asking, what is recovery like? But can we kind of go through, do you do this in the hospital? Do you do it here at your office? So I like to do this either in hospital or a surgery center, depending on uh, what patients likes to do. Uh, we can do this under uh, journal or spinal anesthetic. Uh, again, it's patient's choice. Um, the procedure may last uh, depending on how much we have to do from one hour to hour and a half. With use of laser, it's essentially a bloodless surgery. We use laser to dissect all the tissues and then uh, put all these muscles back together. And uh, that you very much can go home same day. You don't need to stay in a hospital. This, um, those stitches we use in the, uh, in the vaginal area, to, uh, they will dissolve in four to five weeks. And uh, you can very much can do every activity within six weeks after the procedure. Could you go back, like how soon before you can go back to work? So it depends on your work nature. Obviously, we don't want you to be running. We don't want you to be jumping. No, uh, you know, essentially no exercising for that time of frame. But obviously you can walk and go back to work if it's uh, nothing you're doing to affect those st stitches there. Mm -hmm. And... Um, how safe is this procedure? Jennifer's kind of asking that. Sure. So the procedure essentially is, uh, have to understand the safety is very comparable to any other gynecological procedure we'll perform as, uh, in, in the vaginal area. So, for example, putting the bladder back, or which we call in our term cystocele repair or rectocele repair in those lines. Uh, it comes with the same uh, risk uh, which uh, general anesthesia will carry. And... Uh, one person of the population may carry the risk of bleeding and infection, which is no different than from any other uh, surgery we will perform uh, in our gynecological world. I have not seen anybody essentially uh, at this point uh, who has gone through any major complication associated with it. So. So I know it's not something that women necessarily are open to talking about all the time because, you know, it is kind of a private sure. matter, but it is a problem that women want fixed. Right. Want I, fixed I, other lights. I actually uh, have, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, some patients in the past, uh, in a recent past, uh, for example, a young girl in their teens had one mismatch vulva 
So she was in the swim team. And every time she go through this, you see one of the vulva was hanging outside the, her swimsuit. And that was really embarrassing for her. And it was hard for her to be continue on the swimsuit. So this procedure, uh, which was, uh, we essentially did what in this, in her case, we did a designer uh, laser vaginoplasty, which we, uh, and we make that uh, both vulvas, uh, which is essentially a labia minora, smaller than labia majora. And with Dr. Matlock technique is one good thing about him, he makes sure those both vulvas become very equal and even. And no other techniques I have seen over the years uh, has able to do that that to the pin. It really make it very even. And it's really great in Genesee County because you, you see this doctor maybe on TV and you're trained by him. Right. And so you're bringing that. 90210 experience to patients here in Genesee County. Yeah, that was with the whole idea to start with uh, because uh, I saw uh, this this area was lacking with this one uh, piece of information or the service which we're now able to provide right here. 